Hey everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Physicists in the UK have proposed a practical method for creating matter from light. If this sounds familiar to some of you, it might be because you're remembering a story I reported on last September about a Harvard-MIT study that had resulted in the creation of photonic molecules. That study involved using a cloud of ultra-cold atoms to coax a pair of photons to interact with one another. This new project at Imperial College London, described in a paper published in the journal Nature Photonics, would create matter from light using a completely different method. That method is called the Bright-Wheeler process, and it was first proposed by American physicists Gregory Bright and John Wheeler in 1934. Unlike the Harvard-MIT experiment, it's not a method for creating a new form of matter of light, but a way of generating more traditional forms of matter from light. Bright and Wheeler theorized that smashing two photons into each other at high speed would trigger the emission of an electron and a positron. The Bright-Wheeler process is thought to occur naturally in gamma-ray bursts and also is thought to have been an important source of matter in the first seconds of the universe, but it has never been physically demonstrated. The method proposed by researchers at Imperial College London would involve creating a first-of-its-kind photon collider using a device called a Holrom, which is already used in the field of fusion energy research. By making use of existing technology, this new experiment makes the physical demonstration of the Bright-Wheeler process practical for physics researchers all over the world. This 80-year-old theory could be experimentally confirmed very soon now. Next up, a team of researchers at the University of British Columbia has achieved a major breakthrough in the fight against antibiotic-resistant bacteria. Some bacteria form large, complex communities called biofilms as they grow on tissue surfaces. This makes them more resistant to antibiotics. It's estimated that two-thirds of all human infections are biofilm infections. Now, according to a new study published in the journal PLUS Pathogens, researchers at the University of British Columbia have discovered a peptide, designated 1018, capable of preventing biofilms from forming and destroying those that have already formed. Peptide 1018 has been shown to be effective against both gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria and against several well-known resistant pathogens, including E. coli and MRSA. If approved for use on patients, this would be the first treatment to specifically target biofilm infections. This is a major step forward and very good news indeed. And finally, researchers at the U.S. Department of Energy's Joint Genome Institute have discovered that some organisms are using a different genetic vocabulary than most other organisms. It's long been assumed that, with a few rare exceptions, life forms on Earth not only had the same genetic code, but interpreted that code in exactly the same way. A genetic sequence would code for the same thing in any organism. This new study, published in the journal Science, suggests there are far more exceptions to that rule than we ever imagined. Just to be clear, by far more exceptions, I mean approximately 0.044% of all life on Earth, which I know doesn't sound like very much, but is still way more than anybody ever expected. By sifting through the genetic code data of organisms gathered from all over the world, researchers found over 1,700 examples of organisms with genetic codes where one of the stop codons, which signal the end of an amino acid sequence in most organisms, had been reassigned to code for another amino acid. They also found that viral phages were still able to infect bacteria with reassigned stop codons, suggesting that the interpretation of the genetic code is not as absolutely uniform as it has long been thought to be. This is yet another reminder of life's complexity, versatility, and seemingly limitless capacity to surprise us and defy our expectations. Physicists propose a relatively simple method for creating matter from light. Researchers reach a major breakthrough in the fight against resistant bacteria, and geneticists discover that some organisms read their genetic code in their own unique way. That's the good news.
I love you.